Hi, I'm Hank Patterson, former male model and world-renowned fly fishing expert and guide. This right here is my client Reese, my number one fan, El Fano Numero Uno. That's Spanish. You know, I'm honored to have been asked by the Greenback People Club organization group thing or whatever to be this evening's featured speaker and the recipient of the Greenback's Fisherman of the Decade Award. I deserve it, and I'm honored to be honored. Your Honor. You know, as we all know, the Greenbacks are an organization dedicated to conversation. Trout conversation, river conversation, just general conversation, general conversation, you know, just sort of shooting it around, you know. The work that they are doing down there in California or Utah or wherever, it's just, it's truly inspiring. Now tonight, we've all gathered here to support the Greenbacks and their efforts in conversation. Reese and me, we get out on the water quite a bit. And I want you all to know that conversation is a pretty big part of what we do. We bear our souls to each other. We share secrets. We get things off of our chest. It's like, what was that guy's name that you were telling me about last week? Is, was it Gary? So this Gary, Gary his, who's, the wife had sent you the pictures, sort of the intimate to your cellular telephone, right? So Gary, Reese's boss, his wife had sent some questionable, intimate, was it Anderson? It's Gary Anderson. It Gary Anderson, Reese's boss, his wife had sent some R red, well, X, pictures to Reese's cellular telephone. And that is something that he doesn't want anybody to know. But when we're out on the water having conversation, that's something that he can get off of his chest and know that, hey, these lips are sealed. This isn't going anywhere. All right. In great confidence, he can tell me that Gary Anderson's wife sent him questionable pictures to his cellular telephone. Conversation. So tonight, I want to invite all of you to get some things off of your chest, to really open up. This is a safe environment. Let's shoot it around the room. Let me get things started, okay? I drink too much. I'm drunk right now, frankly. I started drinking yesterday morning about 9 a.m. I, I drink cheap whiskey, wine out behind Walmart, that sort of thing. I, I black out a lot. I wake up in a pool of my own urine, and I... Okay. Okay, right conservation. That's different. The Real Adventures of Fly Fishing Expert Hank Patterson, your fly fishing guide. Green back, go green back, have you got a green bibbidi bobbidi trout? You know where they came up with the name for a greenback? A little cutthroat trout is what it is. You know where they came up with that? It's got a green back. A little cutthroat trout's got a really bright fluorescent almost, like a green back, and so uh, greenback. Now a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that uh, it was named after the man that first discovered the fish, Larry Greenback. Not the case. Just a coincidence. Little coinky dink. Larry Greenback discovered the greenback. But they named it after the actual color of the, of the fish. It's not has nothing to do with the coincidence that Larry Greenback discovered them. You know what else they call greenbacks? Little history lesson. Money. Moolah. Greenbacks. Now most people, people like yourself, are taught that that is because dollar bills are green. Thus, greenbacks, cash, greenbacks, no. Larry Greenback was a very, very wealthy man. Always carried cash. So back in the 16, 1700s, when Larry Greenback was around, people started referring to money as greenbacks. Snap it, there it is. You know, people are starting to call me, people in the industry, the fly fishing industry, the Tim Tebow of fly fishing. Yeah, that's a hell of a compliment. You know who the most hated man in Denver, Colorado is? John Elway. John Elway is the single most hated man in Denver, Colorado. Why? Because he's the guy that let Tim Tebow go so that he can bring in his old croony, Peyton Manning. Hey, I want my old buddy Peyton Manning to play. So I'm gonna let Tim Tebow go to the Jets 
and I'm gonna bring in old man Manning. Peyton Manning is 49 years old. The guy ought to be doing like insure commercials. Not playing in the National Football League. Guy needs reading glasses to read a defense. You can't do that. Now it's an unmistakable fish. You ever catch a greenback, it is a cutthroat. It is unmistakable. It's got that bright fluorescent green back. You cannot mistake it for any other fish. It is impossible. Unless you're colorblind. Nope, snap it, skate it, skate it, skate it. There it is, now snap it, 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 there you go. There it is. Oh, I lost, stop casting, hold on, I lost my beer. I lost my beer. I, I dropped my beer. I dropped my, I had it in my freaking, just two seconds ago I had my beer, now it's gone. It's gone, well start looking for it, I dropped my beer for, here it is. Here it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Left hand. <laughs> Snap that. God, I thought it was gone. Here's the thing. Tim Tebow, he's just got the proper delivery of the football. He's got technique. He's got form, right? Because he takes that ball, right? He drops that thing. Those knuckles, right? They just drag on that turf, and then he brings that thing around, right? Like a windmill. He brings that thing like a windmill, right? What does that do? Gives your receiver time to, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Oh, I see that Tim's winding up to throw me the ball. I can stop now. I can wait for that wind up, that windmill to come around and deliver a strike right there. Peyton Manning, he's what? He's here. <laughs> like a little laser. <laughs> Just comes out of the way too fast. <laughs> ball comes out of his hands so fast. Receiver can't react to that. They can't catch ball if you can't see it coming. Tim Tebow. <laughs> can you imagine that guy fly fishing? He's got, he's already got the technique, right? He's got that rod, that, that proper rod technique. You want to drop that rod down. You're not doing it. And you want to drag it. You want that tip practically in the water, right? That tip comes around and like a windmill. And then you snap it and splash it down. Bring it around like a windmill. That's what Tim Tebow would do, right? He's bringing that fly around. Fish are starting to gather. Holy, holy crap. What's going on here? Right? They see that. They see that windmill coming around. They're like excited. Here comes that fly. They got plenty of time to pull up and wait for that fly to splash down. Peyton Manning, that thing's like this, right? Boom, boom, boom. Fish are like, boom. you know, they want to eat it. They want to eat it. They can't. They can't respond to it. Another little something, something you ain't going to pick up in eighth grade uh, history. Larry Greenback used to catch greenbacks and keep them. Bait fisherman kept them. Put them in his freezer wrapped in what? Newspaper? Huh? No. Cash money. So check that out. Larry Greenback is catching greenbacks and wrapping them in greenbacks. That's greenback, greenback, greenback. Wrap your mind around that. That right there, that is opening Pantera's box. If I was a Denver Bronco fan, and I saw John Elway coming down the street, you know what I'd do? I'd drop right into a Tebow. Right in, just send a little message. Hey, here comes John Elway. Just send a little message. I'd drop into a Tebow. Hey, thanks a lot, John Elway. Thanks for letting him go. And if that guy, Elway, gets within three feet of me, I'm paralyzing. Straight to the choke. Tebow, and then he comes near me, boom, paralyzer right to the choke. Anyway, that's what they're saying in the industry Tim Tebow of fly fishing. All right, just make sure to get, if you can get a close-up of the hat. They sent me this free hat, and they'll probably be a pain in the ass if we don't get a big close-up of it in there, so. Okay, yeah, I got All right, it. now the fish, because I had this sweater made. I want to make, hold on that fish for a while, because I had that thing made, 100 and a half. So, as long as we got a really good shot of that. If I don't have room for the hat, I'll definitely get that in there, but mainly the fish. <laughs>